but you kind of look back at your year and uh, you know a, a pretty big change in the in the middle of it. Uh, what was that like? And when you look at the the back half here with with the rain, what what, what was your experience like? Uh, yeah, it was awesome. It was awesome coming here. I think uh, there's such a great group of guys in this room. They made the transition so easy and seamless. Uh, made me feel right at home the first day here. So um, I owe them a lot of thanks for that. Um, obviously, it didn't quite have the results that we wanted to. I think we had a really talented team and um, struggled in the latter half of the year. But um, just something to build up next year. I think we showed a lot of promise and I think there's, there's a lot of room for growth. You know, obviously you've been in the division before, but then coming back into the division, we were talking about it the other day, what are some of the differences in playing in, in you know, this division versus your last one? And, and what do you like different? Yeah, it's it's really different to be honest. Uh, flights instead of long bus trips. Um, I mean, you visit some pretty cool cities. There's a lot of, a lot of fun places to go. Um, the fans are amazing here. Um, I think some awesome differences, but the main thing is just the team in there. Um, we had an awesome group, and that's something that I'm going to remember for a long time. Laval, uh, we just we talked with Toby. I mean, that you guys had a run there, and obviously that was a pretty special group there. And and you get here, and um, seemed like the, you had a pretty consistent role. I mean, uh, what was it like having that def pretty defined and being able to kind of settle into that? Yeah, I think it was awesome. I think it allowed me to really focus on my game. I, I owe the coaches a lot of credit for that, just allowing me to establish a role here and, and build into that. Um, I think that provides me a lot of structure and something that I need in my game. So um, I think it was awesome having that. I remember after, you know, your first game in Bakersfield, you said something to us along the lines of, you know, the coaching staff telling you that, you know, if you felt out of place in the system or if you got kind of turned around, then just go back to playing your game and yeah. you'll settle in well. How did that translate from that first game to the rest of the season? Honestly, I think it gives you a lot of confidence. I think that's one thing that the coaching staff here does. It gives you confidence. You, uh, you just got to trust your instincts. We've all played hockey for so long. There's a reason we're elite hockey players at this level. You just got to trust your instincts. Sometimes the game, hockey happens out there. You just got to go back, trust your instincts and play your game. Your line mates did rotate a bit, but at the towards the end there, you started to get some some good consistency with those guys. Uh, what was it like playing with those guys and, and having some success late in the year? Yeah, it was awesome. Those two guys are, are the best guys. I think they're they're exactly what I needed for my wingers. They were, they were so awesome. Um, a lot of fun to play with. Um, I think we worked worked a lot of teams down low, I think. It was a hard, hard line to play against every night, and that's kind of what our identity had to be. Um, Dre, Dre has, he's got, he's an amazing player. He's going to be uh, really good for a long time. Gilly really provided us a lot of leadership and, and strength, and he's, he's an awesome guy to be around. So those two guys, uh, a lot of my success, I owe them. What's it like having them be so far apart in their career? I mean. You literally have Andre Lee in his first pro year, and Gilly was a guy who was shutting it down. He didn't even know if he was going to play anymore. So, um, you know, it seems like that's a just kind of the opposite there. I mean, I think it works so perfectly. You have <laughs> on one side the experience, the he's been there, he's done that, he knows what it takes to play at the highest level. And then you have Dre and myself who are growing, still trying to find find our roles. We're all kind of in different spots in in our, our careers, but. Um, we just meshed so perfectly that it, that it was a lot of fun out there. What are some of the ways that you've seen, you know, your game grow this season, even going back to the start of the year, you know, with Laval? Yeah, uh, I think there was some adversity this year with injuries and everything and just overcoming some of that. Um, obviously, a trade isn't easy either. Coming into a new structure, um, everything, there's a lot to learn. But um, it's all a learning experience. I think all I try to do is get better every day, um, focus on what I can do and the rest will handle itself. What do you usually do during the summer? What's your, your usual routine and are you keeping it the same this year? Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it the same. I'm probably just going to head back home uh, to Canada, take a little bit of time off and then get back to skating and working out, maybe go on a vacation and go from there. Is it uh, somewhere you, you are used to skating? Do you go to the same rink? Uh, is that somewhere where you're you know, familiar with where you grew up? Yeah, I, uh, back home, skated at the same rink for 15 years now. So uh, I'll head back there, work out, go to that same gym, spend some time with family and enjoy summer.